I really enjoyed school. Um, I, know, I hear a lot of people talking about how much they hate school, but I loved it. I did pretty much every sport under the sun at school, except rowing and debating and drama and um, how to go at most things they had on offer. I, I obviously had my studies, but then I had my sport, which was a really big part of school uh, for me. I also had a bit of music you know, popped in there. so. It ended up being um, quite, a, quite a busy day for me, a, a normal school day. And as I went to university, uh, the sport and the studies remained. Um, it's just that the sport kind of got a bit more all-consuming. I wasn't one of those students who would do hours and hours and hours of homework, um, but I was good at switching on to what I was actually doing at the time. And one of the benefits of that was I did have time to spend with my friends and do the things that I enjoyed doing and have that balance that you need when you're a school kid and a uni student and you're growing up and you're finding your place in the world. I, th I think in, in the end you just need to have the courage of your convictions to be able to know exactly what you want and, and to not be led astray by those people and, and to know that if they are disappointed by the choices that you make then they're probably not the type of person to be around. If they understand that you are an athlete and you realise that being an athlete is, is certainly not synonymous with taking illicit drugs, and if they respect that, then perhaps they are people that you can live with. But if they're people who, who just completely drop you off the radar because you're saying no, then they're, they're probably not the people that you want to hang around with. I think the biggest thing is to know what you want out of life. We all have the opportunity to make choices. And I think from my experience when I was going through school um, and making decisions like not to drink at a party, I actually never felt peer pressured because I was so clear as to who I was and what I wanted. And my friends respected that. And I think when you're really um, sure of what you want to achieve, it's quite easy to make decisions consistent with that. Everything contributes to the whole. And so there's no point training your heart out and having these big dreams if you're not going to live every part of that lifestyle. And I think surrounding yourself with people who will support you in that journey is really important. What matters is being really true to what you believe in and what you want to do.